Hello guys and welcome to my channel. This is my first YouTube video and in this video I will show you my 3D printed quadrocopter guards which are very useful for amateurs like me and also for people who want to fly their quadrocopters indoor and save them from many crashes. So in the last couple of weeks I was feeling boring at home because of Corona lockdown and I started playing with this tiny quadrocopter which I found in the junk at home. The first problem was its battery was completely empty and I could not find its charging adapter. So I used a random charging adapter to recharge the battery by making sure that the voltage and current will not exceed the limits and the battery will not explode. It worked but the bigger problem was how to fly it indoor. On the first flight it hit the walls and I was afraid about the propellers because the company made propeller guards did not help to protect the propellers from all sides as most of the prop guards don't do it. Of course there are other kind of propeller guards like the cylindrical shaped ones which are good but they are bulky, expensive and not easy to replace. So I thought why not design and 3D print my own propeller guards which can protect the propellers from all sides and also protect the body of the quadrocopter. I got my inspiration from UFOs and started working on ellipsoid shaped propeller guards. A 3D printed ellipsoid shaped object has very interesting physical properties in terms of strength and flexibility. No wonder why aliens fly only disc and ellipsoid shaped objects and not rockets and planes. So let me show you my 3D printed propeller guards based on this idea. Okay guys, so these are the parts which I have 3D printed to make uh, guard for the mini quadrocopter and also for the bigger model. Uh, let me first show you some experimental prints or uh, failed prints. Uh, I tried to print the guard and uh, the whole structure as one piece uh, but then I realized that it was not a good idea because uh, this structure is not very flexible uh, and strong enough to withstand the crash test. Um, the reason is the PLA itself is not very flexible. Here we can see that it can be broken very easily and that's why I have to change to uh, another PLA. Let's ignore these parts. So I switch to a silk PLA which is very flexible and suitable for this kind of project. Uh, and instead of printing the guard, uh, the whole structure is one piece, I divided it into small parts. So here we see uh, the hub connector and the ring and the ellipse, which can be combined to make uh, one guard for the mini quadrocopter. Let's see how I do it. So this is how the mini quadrocopter looks after installing my custom design cards. Um, I also tried to print um, a lighter version of these cards. So for example here we can see that these cards we can install uh, on the sides or from one motor to the other instead of cross length. And probably after that we don't need the ring to reduce the weight because it can still save the quadrocopter from all sides. So yeah, we will test it after a while. So after uh, experimenting with the lighter quadrocopter, I thought why not do it for a bigger one. I bought this quadrocopter in internet for 20 euro. It's a used one. Um, yeah, and I design, I tried to design guards the same way as I did for the mini one. But I realized that uh, it will not be possible with Ender 3 Pro uh, for the cross length or side length. So um, I designed um, guards for individual uh, propellers. So here we can see the hub connector. Uh, we can install this way. 
and also an ellipse for each uh, propeller and the ring for uh, each propeller which will pro protect um, yeah, from all si it from all sides. So uh, let's uh, try to mm, assemble these guards and see how the bigger quadrocopter looks. So the mini first, okay. Okay, go up. Yeah, it can fly. Okay. Wow, it can hit the ceiling and still survive. Oh, okay, there it's going. Uh, everywhere in the room and still survive. Okay, yeah, I love it when it uh, hit the ceiling and still can continue flying. And also the walls, that's amazing. Okay, now let's try to test the big brother. Okay, well, it can fly, but I find it a bit difficult to control. Okay, now let's try to hit the ceiling as we did for the mini one yeah that's awesome it can also do that and survive it hit the couch and still survived. oh my god that was a big bang but all the propellers are still safe yeah it can fly again yeah let's hit the floor uh, the ceiling sorry again that's awesome. It can also do the same as the mini one did. Yeah. Okay. Landed not very safe, but everything is fine. Okay, now let's, ex let's explore the house. I don't know where it's going. I never flew a quadrocopter before, so yeah. Anything can happen right now. It hit all the corners, but no propeller uh, is damaged. Okay, yeah, I can uh, touch the ceiling again. Try to touch anything possible, but the propellers are all safe. That's cool.